everyone welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be creating a rotating material and applying that to a loading screen so right here I have my texture that I've brought in make sure that it comes in transparent so we don't get any background and once it's inside of your content browser we are going to double click on the texture and say create a material we're going to call this one rotating shield and we're going to double click and open that up now that we are inside of our material itself we can see that our material domain is set to surface we want to make sure it's set to user interface because we are looking to use this material in a ui space so go over into your left hand side on your details panel find material domain and select user interface once that's selected you can see a lot of our nodes on the right hand side have been limited but that's completely fine now texture sample is going to be in place already, so we're going to grab the RGB node and we are going to connect that to our final color inside of our rotating shield material. Now we're going to pull from our UV and we are going to type in rotator and we're going to change the speed to 0.4. We've slowed it down just a little bit, but as you can see on the left hand side, our image is clipping. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our texture sample, open up our drawer, and then we're going to select from sampler source clamp. And there we go. Our image is perfect. Now don't forget to apply and save. And now we're going to move on to sending this over into a loading screen. So let's go back into our third person map, back into your content browser. We're going to right click, select user interface, widget blueprint, and create the user widget common. And we're just going to name this one, this one something like loading screen. We're going to open that up and drop in a canvas panel. Once we have our canvas panel in place, we want to make sure that we have a black background. So I'm going to use a border to get this effect. Holding control and selecting the fully stretched anchor so it encompasses the entire screen. Down inside of details, brush, and appearance, we can change the color. And I change this to black. Now this is changed to black, I want to put my rotating material on the inside. So I'm going to grab an image and I'm going to drop that into border. And I want to make sure I horizontally and vertically align that center. And in the same area of brush and appearance, we're going to take our material and put it inside of our image location. The really quick way you can do this instead of going and scrolling through that drop down is you can open up your content drawer and find the material or texture you want grab it from there and drop it into your image slot. The image will actually highlight for you so then you know where you're dropping it in. Super easy. And then now we're going to go ahead and manipulate the X and Y. I set mine to 200 by 200. I think that's a nice size. And from here, we want to make sure that we put a horizontal box on the inside. This is just going to keep the text contained so the text isn't going to be floating around the screen and become warped um, based on different aspect ratios. So now that I have my horizontal box set, I'm just going to nest a text block on the inside. And sometimes you can select these right and left arrows if the size is set to fill. Currently it's at auto. So I went ahead and set that to fill. I horizontally aligned it to the right and did a uh, fill vertically on the vertical alignment. Just go ahead and change your text inside of the details page. I'm making mine loading and it should be good to go. I added a little bit of padding to the right for some space. So I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you next time. Bye.